this video is gonna be simple. Before I get into what I'm doing, I get inboxed every day. What's left with the car? What's left with the car? All these fucking minor setbacks. That's what's left with it. Prime example, even though you can't see it, there's an oil leak somewhere. Right there at that fitting that's all the way down there. Focus, focus. There you go. Anyways, yeah, right there. Also gotta do something with this catch can. It can't sit right there. There's also a harness that's close to the hot side. Yeah, motherfuckers be telling me, how come you won't heat wrap the pipe? Because I like the way it fucking looks. That's why. That's why. Last but not least, the reason why I'm making this video. This ain't the right intercooler for this setup. So, I had to buy a whole nother intercooler, the correct one, that cost a lot more. And now, we finna change it. Are you happy now? Now that you know what I'm going through, I know somebody's gonna say, oh, that's easy. Not when you work 12 million hour shifts just to support the channel and all three of these cars. But that's still besides the point. We finna get started. We finna swap out this intercooler real quick. Let's get to work. Shout out to Blue Point and Mako. Y'all should sponsor me for this video since I'm using y'all tools. Well, they're my tools. I bought them. But, yeah. I need an 11. I need an 11? I thought it was an 11. Okay, I need a 10. This is the 10 mil that I'll never lose because I'll always put it back in the toolbox. And if you notice, this ain't a blue point 10 because... My blue point set didn't come with it. We can ask snap on one fucker didn't even give it to me. So the yeah. pops. both piping off i just gotta pull the two bolts right there then the inner cooler is coming down 916 for the top bolt you just let it fall i don't need it i'm gonna put my foot right there This right here is my new intercooler. Cooler from CX Racing that I'm gonna install on a car. This is my old one from eBay, which is a piece of shit. Put my box in. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. And it's secure. It don't look like this one. This is how this one came out of the box. All messed up a little bit. Real good job on the packaging. Real good job. The link test, they're the same exact size. And this one is just lighter and the insides, whatever's on the inside is smaller versus the CX racing one. So it comes with the hardware, but really all I need is the two bolts and the washer. Cause there's nowhere else on the car to put anything else except the two bolts. So hopefully it holds. If not, fabrication work. Let's get to installing. It's gonna be a lot harder than I expected. But
and just like that, the inner cooler is installed. Told y'all it was gonna be quick. Now I'm one step closer to getting this car on the road. Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe, and make sure y'all check out my channel for more videos. Peace.